So uh, this is how to install Asom automatic changeover switch. As you can see, the, this has been installed, but I will explain step by step how you are going to do the connections. So here on this terminal, uh, le let me identify the terminals. We have three sets of terminals, three sets of major terminals. So here we have uh, four terminals. Here we have four terminals, one, two, three, four. Then here we have another four terminals, one, two, three, four. So here, the one at the back here, is the terminal for NEPA. So this is the main connection. Uh, you connect these terminals to NEPA. If your supply is single phase, what you need to do is to connect your neutral here. So it's written on the changeover, neutral terminal. So this is neutral, this is neutral, this is also neutral. So connect your neutral terminal here, then connect your live terminal here. Then look from here to here and to here. If your supply is single phase but as this is three phase so we connect neutral here line one line two and line three now this is generator connection so you connect neutral here line one line two line three if the generator is also single phase you connect neutral here line one here then you look to the other terminals so it will work like that and this is the load uh, terminal here just the same connection neutral line one line two line three if your load is also single phase just connect neutral here connect live here then loop to the others so it's going to work like that now for the changeover to start your generator please show the generator so this is the generator for the changeover to start your generator your generator have to be the one that has the auto module then Terminal 4 and 5. This thing is labeled. Come and show the terminals. It's labeled. So there's a label on that here. You can see it's labeled 1, 2, 9. So terminal 4 and 5 is the one that power, I mean, that would switch on and off the diesel generator. So from terminal 4 and 5. We've already run this wire from here. We've run it to here. Now, for an, in an ideal situation, the so once we have run the two wires from terminal four and five, bring it to the generator panel. You open the generator panel. You see some terminals here. You see some terminals here. On those terminals, you will see it is going to be labeled auto start. Auto start. Then you connect your two wires to the auto start cables you can see you connect the two wires to the auto auto start terminals it's going to be two you are bringing two wires from there then you are connecting it to the auto start terminals on the on the on the board of the generator so it's as simple as that thank you so if you are using petrol generator so uh you connect a two wire from here from terminal eight and nine is the last two terminals two two wires from terminal eight and nine this thing is numbered so you see the number there terminal eight and nine connect it from there then come to the generator come to the petrol generator like uh, this petrol generator possible there's a cable no uh, screwdriver so this is a petrol generator or gas generator that is using key. You know, uh, we have two types. I mean, all these petrol generator has two uh, systems of ignition. Some of them has uh, key and some of them have uh, a switch. So this is the type that has switch. So I'm still going to explain that. But let's go through the one that has key. So what what are you going to connect? The two wire that you are bringing from terminal eight and nine, what are you going to connect it to here? So let's let's do it. All right. So uh, now we are losing the the, the the face board. So you go to the back of the ignition key. Uh, the first wire that you look for is the F wire that is connected to the ignition key. F. What do I mean by F? 
is connected from this ignition key to the body of the generator and it's usually yellow green you can see green yellow color that's the x color it's usually yellow and green sometimes it could be ordinary green so for you to confirm it use your meter test from the terminal to the body so the, it will read to the body so that's it so the second wire is usually near to that x to that x wire and it's usually black is most times is black most generator producer they make it black and they make the earth wire also green and yellow so you connect one to the earth then one to the ignition wire which is black so once you do that the generator is going to be then the wires that are coming from the from the changeover look, you can see from terminal eight and nine so it's going to be connected to this and it's going to be connected to that so we'll be showing you the operation very shortly so if you are using this type of generator that has this type of ignition switch so just go to the back of that generator let me turn it for you to see it. just go to the back of that generator switch so that you found two wires one of them is the earth wire like I ex uh, explained earlier one of them is the earth wire then the second one is the uh, ignition wire so this one uh, always has only two wire connect the two wires that are coming from the uh, changeover to the two wires at the back of the ignition switch and that's it